Good afternoon and welcome. Somebody else's problem. That is unfortunately how too many people view the issues that plague our criminal justice system. It is easier to look the other way than to face head on the complex societal problems such as substance abuse and mental illness. We in Michigan's court system do not think that way. Across Michigan, 179 problem solving courts cover geographic areas that are home to 97% of our population. These courts not only help offenders overcome substance abuse, mental illness, and veteran specific issues, but they also succeed in reducing crime and saving money. Problem solving courts do not just improve the lives of our graduates and their families, but they also strengthen communities across the state. Your Michigan Supreme Court's State Court Administrative Office assists these courts by providing them with the resources they need to succeed. Today, we are here to unveil the 2015 Annual Problem Solving Courts Report entitled Solving Problems, Saving Lives. This report contains both compelling data and inspiring stories of dedicated judges, court staff, prosecutors, law enforcement officers, and treatment professionals who work together case by case to make a difference in the lives of the participants. While the personal stories in the report show the new opportunities that problem solving courts provide their graduates, let me be clear, graduating from one of our problem solving courts is not easy. Getting to that new beginning involves intense supervision, drug testing, treatment, rehab sessions, many judicial status hearings, and other commitments that each participant must take in order to avoid sanctions. I have been honored to participate in many treatment court graduations, and in every one, I hear the story of at least one participant who is on the brink of quitting or failing because it's tough. But then someone at the court, a probation officer, the judge, or a fellow veteran stepped in to get that person back on track. One veteran's treatment court graduate, David Bacon, says in the report that at first he was overwhelmed by just how demanding the program was. But in his words, after talking to the judges and everyone who worked there, I could definitely tell it was something they cared about a lot. The Supreme Court supports problem solving courts because they are successful in improving both lives and communities. But that's not just our opinion. We have hard data that backs that up. It shows that participants in these court programs have much better outcomes than non-participants with similar backgrounds. By measuring the performance of these courts, we continually improve our service to the public and achieve more positive outcomes. You will hear more about the data from the judges who will speak today. I want to sum up the success of problem solving courts with this comment from a mental health court graduate featured in the report. Her name is Ivy Calkins, and she said this. They gave me a chance in mental health court. Judge Tomlinson wasn't going to give up on me. He showed me a completely different side of the court system. He showed me that courts can help. I really appreciate the program and everyone involved in it. And we here at the Michigan Supreme Court do too.